our Iskin corn stalks. We're getting after it. So, I'm sitting here in the 9020. We're cruising along at 4.5 mile an hour. Got the GPS set up at uh, 29 feet wide, which is perfect for this 30 foot disc. Um, this is a case 30 foot disc. Um, we're trying to manage residue at the moment. Um, we're working in the corn stalks and the residue left behind from harvest and uh, trying to make it nice um, for whenever we come in here, in here and plant because sometimes no-till is kind of a pain when it's a high residue area most of the time high residue is because of high yielding corn um, or high yielding of any crop of our farm is actually flat ground that might be a little bit too high of a number but um, I really enjoy flat ground because I don't really got to worry about the way I do certain things I just set my GPS and then go back and forth um, pretty much the only thing I got to worry about at the moment is making sure it's leaving a nice smooth finish so that's kind of why I'm going slow that's kind of uh, I've done quite a bit of adjustments on my disc to make sure it's uh, sitting pretty level um, the tilt, uh, I'll show you that in a little bit, but yeah, uh, making sure I'm leaving a nice smooth finish so if we want to plant straight into this, um, we can. So that's the goal. We'll see if we can. Um, it looks pretty smooth right now, but um, we'll see. So when I'm talking about the level, it's right there. Right Oh, oh, oh. There, yeah, you already saw it. I zoomed in on it pretty good. Right now, I'm sitting kind of in between B and C. I'm kind of closer to C, which uh, closer to C means that my back end of my disc is farther down. Um, I think I found the sweet spot. Um, it's not leaving a ridge down the center, which sometimes it does that. Um, which right now it's not, so that's a good thing. Um, it's leaving a nice smooth finish, so I'm very happy with that. Cruising back and forth, sun's going down. Everything's been going pretty smooth. But yeah, uh, I split this field about uh, in half, so still got a lot to go that way. Well, I'm on the other half by now. It's about 7.30. What's awesome about tomorrow is I have basketball practice at six o'clock in the morning, which means I gotta get up at like 520 um, I actually had it this morning too but uh, yeah so the cycle begins basketball practice in the mornings before school reason for that our junior high our, our high school coach is the same coach as a junior high coach and the junior high kids have games today and tomorrow so yeah 
and the girls have practice after school, so it makes it where we can't go after school. Not a very big school, so if you're from a big school, you're probably like, why can't you just go to your other gym? Well, there's only one gym. Tiny school, but yeah, we're going back and forth. Uh, it looks pretty good. Um, I'd say I'm halfway done with the big section here, but yeah. Taking some time, it takes a while, especially when you can't go very fast. Trying to make it nice and smooth and this, this isn't a high speed disc, so that's pretty dang slow. That's probably the slowest I go for anything, so. But I guess I can sit in here and uh, look at my phone, fly my drone and do stuff like that. But yeah, uh, what's some other cool things I can show you? That's about it, got my legs crossed, I'm turned sideways. And then I got foot pegs, foot pegs are nice. Oh yeah, and these are my Caterpillar boots. This is what I wear in the winter instead of my Caterpillar shoes. Wear Caterpillar boots. I actually got a new pair for my birthday. These are my old ones. And these are a year old. And uh, yeah, they're not worn out. Really good boots. These, I recommend these more than my shoes. These like held together. I've had these, probably wore them for at least five or six months and there's no sign of wear and tear at all. So, love these shoes. But yeah, back and forth. Kind of lonely. But I got my phone. Uh, nobody's close enough for me to talk to on the radio, so that kind of sucks. at the moment. We got Scott in the green cart. We got Jared trucking, uh, which heats up pretty well. Uh, we're not too far away um, from the farm, so he's able to keep up with the combine. And then we got Dad combining, so I'm not needed. Um, if Scott wasn't there, I'd be needed. If Jared wasn't there, I would, I would be needed. But at the moment, I'm not needed. And I'm also they're kind of like, hey, as soon as it gets to a certain time, you go home, go to bed, so you can get up for practice in the morning. So, they're kind of putting some limits on me at the moment. And right now, uh, I kind of want to go later because I kind of wanted to get this big chunk done, but I better go home. Kind of sucks. So, I said junior high is playing tonight. My brother is a junior high kid, so he's playing basketball tonight. So yeah, fun stuff. Uh, I don't know if Dad went to this game or not. He's been to every other game, so I don't know if he went to this game or not. So I don't know if they're combine core at the moment or not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, if you made this far the video and you're new around here, push that subscribe button. I make farming content. Want to be like uh, Millennial Farmer, Larson Farms, Brian's Farm Video, 
Cola Corn Star. I keep listing them. Welker Farms. We throw them all in there. I, I want to be like them one day. So, hit that subscribe button. Will help uh, that goal happen. I've already passed my uh, goal for the year. My goal for the year was a thousand subscribers. And we've went past that. So, that's good. Very happy. Uh, very thankful for all you guys that have subscribed. Um, but yeah. Um, very thankful. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And if you are a uh, subscriber already, hit that thumbs up button. It helps this video get to other people. It helps it get to new people and stuff like that. So, it means a lot. And leave a comment. Uh, what's your favorite tillage tool to use in the fall? Because I we're, we're looking at a tillage tool. Hopefully one that goes faster than this. And doesn't need too much horsepower. Let's say around 400 horsepower. A little bit below maybe. Um, we're thinking about maybe upgrading a tractor to pull a nice tillage tool. Like a high speed disc in the fall. But um, these are all dreams. So we'll see. Um, they have tried out some high speed disc all right we didn't get a very big one but yeah but for now I am stuck with the good old classic disc 30 foot wide 4.5 4.6 miles an hour at, at the moment but I got guidance so it's not really that bad it's just it's just gonna take me forever to get not very much acreage done. Uh, what are we saying? I'm thinking there's maybe 120 acres here. And I've probably done 40 acres of it. Because this is not, this is just the big chunk of it. There's a little chunk that way, a little chunk on that side that I haven't done. I just wanted to start in the big chunk because that's the long, nice rows. So, yeah. Everything's run smooth. Getting darker. Getting closer to my uh, what is it called? Uh, curfew, you could say. Gotta get home so I can sleep and not be grouchy at practice tomorrow. Well, we're trucking along, and you're seeing, and both sides of me are like, wait, where have you disked? Well, I'm skipping a pass. I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna come back and get that pass. That's gonna be the last pass for me tonight. Um, we're gonna call it for the night so I can go home and get ready for bed. But uh, I haven't had any problems today, so everything's been going pretty smoothly. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's, everything's been going pretty good, so I'm happy. Uh, I've enjoyed this today, but yeah. I've seen, uh, like, well, I know why other YouTubers do it, like Millennial Farmer. They'll have, like, a, a ripper on the back, and they'll skip a pass. And I know why they skip a pass is because it's a big tratcher with a lot of power, and it really can't turn that sharp whenever it's got uh, an implement that's maybe 15, 20 foot wide on the back of it. So, I can turn that sharp with this tratcher, and the, this thing's 30 foot wide, but uh, I'm going to see... I've never done this before. I've never skipped a pass or anything like that. So I'm gonna do that. Just playing around. Now if there's two of us running in this field, that'd be pretty neat. Well, we don't have two discs. But yeah, that'd be pretty neat if you had like one guy just doing straps and then the other guy's filling in. That'd be pretty neat to see. But I guess I gotta be the guy that does both. But yeah. We'll see how this goes. Well, it's beautiful. It's working beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. That's great. I like doing it this way, too. Makes me look professional. I look so professional. Leaving the gap and then coming in, filling it in. That's just beautiful. Well, I think I'm about to head home. After this pass, I'm going to be all done, so... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Um, yeah. If you're new around here, subscribe. I make farming content very regularly. So, yeah. 
I'll see you guys in the next one.